Now we open the packet tracer file, layer 2 VLAN security. This is our topology. The company's network is currently set up using two separate VLANs, VLAN 5 and VLAN 10. In addition, all trunk ports are configured with native VLAN 15. A network administrator wants to add a redundant link between switch 1 and switch 2. The link must be trunk enabled and all security requirements should be in place. In addition, the administrator wants to connect a management PC to switch A. The administrator would like to enable the management PC to connect to all switches and the router, but does not want any other devices to connect to the management PC or the switches. The administrator would like to create new VLAN 20 for management purpose. Part 1. Verify connectivity. Step 1. Verify connectivity between C2, this one, and C3, this one. I use ping command. Firstly, I get the IP address of C3 computer and on C2 computer, I enter ping command. As you can see, I can ping from C2 to C3. Step 2. Verify connectivity between C2 and D1. D1 is a VLAN 5. I get the IP address. Of D1 computer. And on C2. I ping to it. As you can see, I can ping from C2 computer of VLAN 10 to D1 computer of VLAN 5. Part 2. Create a redundant link between Suite 1 and Suite 2. Step 1. Connect switch 1 and switch 2. We will use a crossover cable and connect from the FAT Ethernet 0 slash 23 to the same port number on switch 2. Now we will set the port to trunk and assign native VLAN 15 to the trunk port and disable auto negotiate.
So after configuring, we can show the chunk port on each switch. As you can see, the fat is an at zero slot twenty three is the chunk port with the native VLAN fifteen. Part three enable VLAN twenty as a management VLAN because the network administrator wants to access own switch and routing devices using a management PC. For security purpose, the administrator wants to ensure that all managed devices are on a separate VLAN. Step 1. Enable a management VLAN or VLAN 20 on suite A. Now we create an interface VLAN 20 and assign an IP address. Step 2. Enable the same management VLAN on all other switches. Step 3. Connect and configure the management PC. Now, we will assign an IP address of VLAN 20 for this management PC. Step 4. 
on suite A, ensure the management PC is part of VLAN 20. Step 5. Verify connectivity of the management PC to all switches on the management PC. We test to ping to other switches. As you can see, I can ping from the management PC to suite B. And I can ping to suite A. I can ping to sit one. And ping to the center switch. And ping to sit two. Part 4. Enable the management PC to access router 1. Step 1. Enable a new sub-interface on router 1. Now we assign an IP address within the VLAN 20 network to the interface or sub-interface. Step 2. Verify connectivity between the management PC and router 1. Firstly, we configure the default gateway on the management PC. And then we ping to router one on the sub interface. As you can see, you can ping from the management PC to router one. Step three, enable security. The management PC must be able to access the router. No other PC should be able to access the management VLAN. So, firstly, 
we will create an ACL that allows only the management PC to access the router. On this router, we show IP interface brief to check for the interface status. As you can see, we have on router one we have gigabit Ethernet zero slash zero dot one zero slash zero dot two and zero slash zero dot three dot fifteen though so interfaces are sub interface. Now I create an ACL that allows only the management PC to access the router. And I create a second asset list to permit only management PC. dot six to any destination next we will apply the ACL to the proper interfaces inbound direction and we will config the asset 102 to the live VTY And we can show our asset list. We have two asset lists. Step four, verify security. Verify only the management PC can access the router. We will use SSH to access router one. As you can see, I can establish an SSH connection to router 1. 
and from the management PC, I print sheet A, sheet B, and router one. successful as you can see I can ping from management PC to sheet A, sheet B and router 1 Now we test to ping from D1 on VLAN 5. You can see that it returns destination hold unreachable because a satellite blocked this ping. the same result to sit B. And on sit one and sit two, we cannot ping to those devices. and we cannot ping to the router too. Now we check for our result. As you can see, we get full marks. Thanks for watching.